so let's see how we get the correct product rule. And the way I'm going to do that is um, by calculating the area of a square that changes, its dimensions change in time. So in this example, I have um, the green square is changing. Its depth, d of t, is given by the height of this bar on this side. And its width is given by w of t. So this thing is going to grow. And at a time later, t plus h, w of t will be a little bit longer, and d of t plus h will also be a little bit longer. And what I'd like to know is what the derivative is of a of t, written in terms of d and w. So let's just break this up into pieces. The area of the new, um, the new size of the square, or the, of the rectangle, will be... Um, formed of four parts, the green, the blue, the orange, and the pink. And the first one is going to be, the green one is just A of T, which is D of T times W of T. So that's where we start off with. Then we have another area here, which is the blue rectangle. And that one is going to have dimensions along this edge here, uh, D of T plus H minus D of T, because d of t plus h is this whole height here, and we subtract off this height here, we're left with this little bit here, which is that difference. And the width of it is going to go all the way from here to here, which is w of t. So I get the product of d of t plus h minus d of t multiplied by w of t. Next, the orange rectangle, we have a similar uh, product here. This time, d of t is this side here. So that's where we got this guy. And the other side, this one here, is w of t plus h, all the way across, minus w of t, leaving me just this little piece. And so the area of the rectangle is going to be d of t multiplied by d of t plus h minus w of t. And the small corner, now this one, um, I'm not going to go through this formally, but you can show that this has a size that's proportional to h squared. And I'll leave it at that, and you'll see what that does for the calculation I'm about to show you. Okay, so, um, so now I'll fill in some of these details. So what I'd like to know is the area, or the derivative of the area, and to get the derivative of the area, I'm going to start by calculating a of t plus h. So a of t plus h is the area of this whole rectangle. And that's going to consist of, well, let's see, I can do this in color, can't I? Uh, a of t, a of t, which is d of t multiplied by w of t. And that's this part here. And then we're going to add to that the blue area. Uh, oh, I guess I should make this in black here, so we don't confuse the parts. That's the whole the whole rectangle, and now I'm going to break it up into parts using the color. So the blue area has an area of d of t plus h minus d of t, all multiplied by w of t, and the orange area will have an area given by d of t times w of t plus h minus w of t. And finally, we have this small corner, which I'm going to write that as uh, something that's roughly like h squared. Okay, And that's, that's a subtle thing that I'm not going to go into details on. Okay, so um, what I'm interested in is um, really an expression like a of t plus h minus a of t all divided by h, because that, when I take a limit, will give me the derivative a prime. So let me just write this down at first. So I'm going to write it down, and I'm going to change the notation a little bit here. The green, I wrote d times w. I actually could have just left it 
as a, oops, as just a of t. And now um, I'll subtract off um, minus a of t at the very end. And in the meantime, I will put in these other expressions. So d of t plus h minus d of t times w of t plus d of t w of t plus h minus w of t plus, oops, plus something that goes like h squared. And now I've still omitted this divided by h. So I'm going to, first of all, note that this and this will cancel each other. And I'm going to divide each of the other remaining terms by an h, because I have this h over here. And so I'm going to choose to put the divided by h underneath this part here. And over in the next term, I'm going to put it underneath this part. And here, I'll just divide the h squared, or thing that behaves like h squared, by h. And now, you can see that the if I take the limit, so now I'm going to go down here, and next to it, I'm going to write h going to 0. Out of the black expression here, I get a prime of t. And now the a of t is gone because it canceled with the a of t I subtracted off. And then I have uh, d of t plus h minus d of t over h. That is the same as d prime of t. And that gets multiplied by w of t. And then the next expression here is plus d of t multiplied by, and this ratio here is w of t plus h minus w of t over h, when I take a limit as h goes to 0, that one is just w prime of t. And finally, this h squared expression over h, the, one of the h's sort of cancels, and I'm left with an h that's going to 0, so that one goes to 0. And so this is what I'm left with, which is what we call the product rule. Okay. And there it is, written out in print.